Hey guys, welcome to Tracy's Place. Today I am featuring two cleaners. One is going to be the Clorox cleaner and the other will be the all natural hydrogen peroxide cleaner. And it will be mixed with lemon and lavender. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna tell you the ingredients for one and actually make the other. Uh, the one is so simple, I don't have to show it because I'm, like I said, I'm featuring two. So I'm gonna make the second one for you. The first one would be the Clorox cleaner. So you can use that instead of buying the Clorox cleaners at the store, the Clorox wipes. Um, you can use this because right now the virus is going on and you cannot find a lot of cleaners right now. A lot of the Clorox is off the shelf and different things. So if you already have Clorox at home, this one will be an easy one to make. For the Clorox wipes, you want to use one cup of water and you want to use one tablespoon of Clorox disinfectant okay and that's the regular Clorox kills 99% of common household germs it disinfects and this is the concentrated formula okay so you want to use that very easy and then you just mix it together and you will pour it over the paper towel that goes into your container. If you have an empty Clorox container or an empty Lysol wipe container, just clean it out and then you'll be able to reuse this, okay? I don't use the wipes that often. I like to use cleaners that I make myself so I don't have the extra or empty Clorox or Lysol wipes containers hanging around. So I use this plastic and you can use glass too. But, um, and if you're making Clorox, it would be better to use a glass container um, just because, and I know the Clorox wipes and the Lysol wipes are in a plastic container, but depending on what grade of plastic that you are using, it's better to use, you don't wanna use this because this is like a household grade. Um, it's decent, but sometimes Clorox eats through things or starts eating through things. And I believe the Lysol and Clorox containers that they use for their wipes is a little thicker than this. So I, if I was making the Clorox cleaner, I would use the actual wipes container, an empty one, or either a glass container, okay? All right, now we're gonna move on to the hydrogen peroxide, which I'm gonna use because Clorox is not the best for people that are asthmatic. And I have an asthmatic, you know, I have I've been diagnosed with chronic asthma. So I am gonna use the natural, the natural solution, okay? It's better for people that don't have asthma and other conditions. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we are gonna use, and let me take you over here, the Kroger Rugged and Reliable Paper Towels. You can use other paper towels too, like Bronnie or Viva, uh, an industrial paper towel or just a regular strong paper towel. I have used that before for my antibacterial wipes and a regular paper towel works great, it lasted fine. But if you just want something just a little thicker, you can use this Kroger Rugged and Reliable Paper Towels, okay? This was, I got this from Kroger's um, last week and it was 10 giant rolls to this pack. This was $9.99, so this was a pretty good price. Pretty good price. It ended up being, like I said, it's $9.99 for 10 rolls, so basically a dollar per roll. You are going to cut this in half with a serrated knife, okay? You just cut, you just saw right through it. Hold on just a second. Okay, here's the paper towel, and all I did was saw right through it with this serrated knife, and it's gonna take you a good minute. It's gonna take you like a minute or a minute to half to saw through this because you have the cardboard in the middle. Okay, once you get it sawed through, you're just gonna wipe away the shreds at the bottom because it will be frayed a little bit. But once they're gone, you are good to go. We're gonna pop back over here. And remember you guys, since the paper towel is a do basically a dollar per roll, when you cut this in half, it's 50 cents, basically 49 cents, 50 cents per roll for, a little, for the half. And by the time you do your solutions, whichever one you use, it's gonna end up being like a dollar or a dollar 10 cent per container, but it's very economical. It's cheaper than going to the store buying Lysol or Clorox wipes, okay? 
So what we're going to do now, let's scoot the Clorox out the way. And for the hydrogen peroxide solution, you're gonna use one cup of water, you're gonna use a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide, four tablespoons of lemon, or you can use three tablespoons of lemon and one tablespoon of lime. Now, you do not have to use this, but this is just me being Tracy. I know I like to do a little extra. <laughs> so I use a little bit of essential oil in mine, and you all know I love this scent. This is my favorite detergent, my dish detergent. It smells so it smells up the kitchen, you all. But since I'm using natural products, I am just going to go for that smell, something similar to this smell. So I'm using lemon. And like I said, you can do one tablespoon of lime in with the lemon. And you can do about 10 or 12, maybe 15 drops of essential oil, depending on how much scent you like. But you do not have to use this. You don't have to use this, okay? So let me go ahead and show you how to make it. We're gonna put the paper towel roll in just like so. And it fits perfectly. You can get these at the dollar store. Uh, your grocery store, Walmart, they're very easy to find. As this hydrogen peroxide is not as strong as Clorox, I don't have to worry about it like eating through the plastic or anything, okay? So I have one cup of water here. And in a separate container, I'm going to add in a half of the cup of hydrogen peroxide so I can add it to the one cup of water. And you want to add that to the one cup of water. I have three tablespoons of lemon juice and one tablespoon of lime. And like I said, if you just have lemon, that is fine. I love lemon by itself. So you can use four tablespoons of lemon. That's lemon juice from a real lemon. Lemon is a good cleaner. Hydrogen peroxide is also a good cleaner. Um, you can use it instead of Clorox. It whitens, it disinfects, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shake this up a little bit. And we're gonna add, I'm gonna go for 15 drops. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Couple of them drops you couldn't see coming out. So that's 15 drops and you can smell it to see if you like that or if you need a little, I wouldn't go past 20. Mmm, that smells good. I'm gonna do five more drops. I'm a little extra that way. Come on, three, four, five. All right, mix that up. And once the solution sits, you can smell it even a little better. So what we're gonna do is pour this solution all over your paper towel. And this is such a good thing to do if you cannot find the cleaner in the store, you can make your own at home, or if you just, you know, are on a budget or just wanna, you know, you don't wanna spend so much money on the brand names, these work just as well. Okay, I'm gonna get that all on there. Oh, it smells good, y'all. What you wanna do is just kinda roll it around. I'm not even gonna snap it closed because I just wanna roll it around a little bit. Okay, and what you wanna do is let that sit for about 10 minutes and it should be all soaked through, okay? And then you wanna come back and take the center cardboard out the middle. It's very easy to do. You just kinda of pull it away from the paper towel and start pulling upward. And it's very, very easy, see? Slides right out. And what you wanna do is find the middle and there you go. You are all ready to go. So you just keep them covered up. 
okay? And it's gonna act just like the wipes. You're gonna pull it up from the center and find the perforation and pull it out, okay? Very, very easy. And it smells so good, you all, so good. So you have your natural cleaner right here, or you can use the Clorox and both of them disinfects. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You can make either or, like I said, you can make the Clorox disinfectant wipes, or you can make the hydrogen peroxide and the lemon. You can add these essential oils or not. You will have both in both a disinfectant cleaner. You should be very satisfied with either one. And you guys, share this video with your family and friends. And I will see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.